Hello, fellow hunters, and welcome back to Call of the Wild. We are continuing our adventures in Parque Fernando, continuing to unlock all of the various uh, points of interest around the map, as well as trying to uh, continue these missions that we've been doing. The last several maps that we've uh, done have kind of taken us around the map in a very good way, and they haven't been too difficult to complete in comparison to, say, the... Uh, the first two maps, Hirschfelden and the other ones that had very, like, they ended up having specific weapon requirements, or you had to be in this specific area to do, to do this or do that. It's just kind of annoying and irritating. So I'm, I'm really enjoying these maps, these later maps that they came out with. Uh, our loadout for today is the Malmer 7mm for class 4 to 9 animals, the 243 for our class 2 and 3 animals, the 22 pistol for our class 1 animals, and the Sunberg 454 for our self defense against uh, pretty much just the water buffalo. I don't think anything else here actually attacks us. For those of you who watch this content regularly i apologize if that gets very repetitive but uh most of the people who come into my channel are new and don't really know what's going on so it kind of helps to go over these things um, repeatedly anyways uh we're going to continue on towards the mission over here we're supposed to uh travel to a to uh check out the solar panels that got dropped off over here we're going to unlock this and then after that we'll make our way over to the lookout point here to find out uh what all we need to unlock in this area so, until we see something interesting or we make it over to our first waypoint, I will cut and see you guys back here in just a second. Got ourselves a puma here. Uh, I'm not sure I got him. That's mildly frustrating. I thought I, thought I had it, but uh, I guess not. Sometimes it's hard to tell when they're moving like that, if you're going to be able to hit them, just with the way the bullet mechanics work in this game. <clears throat> but anyways, let's check out the lake here. See if there's any ducks. There's never any ducks on the lake. It's mildly frustrating that we never... Or I don't know, are they... Do they... Are these... I don't know, I guess the ducks in uh, Leighton Lakes always, in, most of the time, ended up hiding in, like, tree... little tree stands or whatever. Little stands of trees. Some axis deer over here. All right, well, we're gonna continue on towards the mission. I just, I thought I was gonna get that puma and it just didn't work out. So <laughs> sometimes that's just the way that it goes. I'll see you guys back in just a minute. Okay, so I have no idea if I'm gonna even get a good chance at this. So we got some cinnamon teal warning calls over here. And if I can get close enough to grab them before they get too high up in the air, maybe I can take one out and maybe it'll be, maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be a gold. It's probably already up in the air though, cause I don't really know how these work. I don't really know how the teals work. Just I'm trying to keep an eye out for anything that... Yeah, it looks like this is probably the resting zone that they were in. Do they fly straight up and just out, or how does that work? Oh no, this is just water buffalo. Uh, okay, well I guess we're not going to get a chance to actually catch these guys. Where were they? I said they were about 200 yards off in this direction, but I don't see anything. If I had a shotgun, it would be much. Um, I'd feel much better about it. But uh, I don't have for the, for the realistic loadout that I tried to do. I don't really have the. Uh, I don't really have the capacity for that. If I want to carry two rifles with me. Um. All right. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and grab this here. It's probably a hunting stand. Yep, hunting stand, and then we'll head up and do the mission over here. All right, probably going to get a little vocal thing from the... Ooh. Okay. Uh, I might as well just run. It's, already, it's it's caught my scent. There's no way I'm going to sneak up on it this way. I know I could use scent eliminator and all that stuff, but I just I don't mess around with that stuff. Should. I know I should, but I, just, I don't. <laughs> okay, yeah, the forest is just too thick here. Female there. Another female. Bunch of female. There was a male. Oh, 101. He wasn't even worth our time, anyways. He's only a silver. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see what they have to say for the uh, solar panels that we're supposed to be inspecting over here. The shipping receipt says my solar panel should be in the area ahead of you. That, what? 
Where? Do you see the solar panel? No? No. I hope some Boludo pilot didn't screw up the drop. My nephew marked the plane's flight path on your hunter mate. Search that area, find those panels. Hmm. I haven't been to church since the 80s, but I'm praying to St. Anthony that you find those missing panels. Don't give up. You have to be getting close. Oh, come on. Why are they taking me down this way? Um, see, the problem is, is I'm pretty sure that there's going to be an outpost here, and then we can get that there. So I think what I'll do is, is I'll run over here, grab this outpost, then we'll run up here and grab this, and then come back down here and then make our way. It, it just kind of depends on what ends up being up here. Uh, never mind. We're just going to go after it. <laughs> <laughs> Regarding the cinnamon teal, I'm not too worried about the birds on any of these maps, mostly because we will eventually get to Reventuli Coast, and I think most of the birds in the game are on that map. So I'm not overly concerned about making sure we get the birds. They're, they're, re they're relatively difficult to do, and I'd rather just go to a map where I can focus on having a shotgun and have the best chance. So re realistically, I'd like to get a cinnamon teal, but it's not exactly a priority for me. Uh, I most much rather get a black buck. Unfortunately, they always seem to uh, pop up. They always seem to pop up when I'm too close to them to do anything about it. But that's mostly an, uh, that's mostly a consequence of the way that I choose to play. I miss out on a lot of opportunities because I'm just you know right now we're just running around the map, not super focused on hunting every possible opportunity. Another water buffalo, very nice. All right, so I'm gonna run over here and see about uh, tracking down these solar panels, and then I'll be back in a minute. All right, here we are at what is probably the solar panels. One thirty-seven, and not even a gold. You found my solar panels. Oof, maybe Saint Anthony <sighs> did oh. the trick after all. I'll send a crew to that location to retrieve them. All right, this guy could be a gold. Sounds like everything is dead except for some cabling, which probably blew further, of course. The winds must resent that we are going solar, but they might also point us in the right direction. My nephew marked an area on your hunter mate where he thinks you should look. Okay, well, I really want to go up this way to get that, but I guess we might as well just continue what on. What me is we had an account with this freight company for years. Whoever this drunken mess of a pilot is, missing his drops by whole kilometers, he's finished. We'll see to that. <laughs> She's not very nice, is she? All right. I'm going to run over here, try to grab that, and hopefully it won't take us too much further in this direction because I would like to be able to just walk up, get this outpost over here. I mean, at the very least, I do want to get it. We're too close to it to run off to another part of the map and not grab it. I always get stuck on the trees. <clears throat> Can I see that, Puma? No. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. No, I saw it for a sec. Oh, no, there it is. 38. It's going to be a gold. Could be a gold. Wow, of course he moved. <laughs> wow. Well, that's the uh, that's the luck I tend to have. I'm, he, he stood there waiting for me to shoot him, and then as soon as I pull the trigger, he jerks off to the side. But whatever. It is what it is. We'll move on to this next mission point over here, and then whatever happens, we're definitely going to run back over here to grab the outpost because uh, it's, too, it's too convenient to, ba to pass up a fast travel point that way. All right, we're approaching the area that she wanted us to go to. Yet? You can be far off, unlike our pilot. We don't have time to waste. I want you to shoot that package down, and hopefully nearby, Water Buffalo won't charge you. I promise you, Che, this pilot, this pelotudo, is going to pay for putting you at risk like this. Wait until the Water Buffalo disperse, or find a way to disperse them yourself before you retrieve the package. Well, they already ran off, so don't have to worry about that. You've got it. See, this is the last piece we need to power up the lodge. Get back oh. there and do the honors. Oh, you want to fight me. Well, I don't want to hit it again. Oh. Oh, 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 get off me. Get off me. This is a big one. All right. 
I don't want to ruin it. That's a big horn. Is this guy going to be a diamond? I don't know how big they get. That's a massive one. Okay. Oh, he was so close to diamond. Oh, man. Okay, we're definitely going to tax this guy because he's massive. But, uh, geez, that was... Uh... All right, what's our, bit? what's our best score for the water buffalo? 133.83 is our last one. So 164.26. Man, this guy is huge. Kind of wish we were able to get the... I kind of wish we were able to get the diamond there, though. Look how big that is. That is insane. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm rarely impressed by a lot of the animals here, but that was... Wow, I can't wait to see what the diamonds look like. Okay. Uh, what does she want us to do? All right, so we, we need to go over there, but what we're the plan for now, since we need to go back over here anyways, is we're going to grab this, then we'll run over here to this outpost run up to the outlook, the lookout point here and see what else is nearby because there might be another outpost. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, uh, what's up? Yeah, we're going to run off in this direction. This is pro... I don't know what this is going to be. That's gonna be high it's kind of hard to tell what this is going to be. Um, and since we're so close, it doesn't really make much sense for me to put a cut in because I'm going to press the button and then we're going to travel 100 yards and then be right back. So... Uh, if it turns out to be a hunting stand, that's going to be mildly annoying because I could have bypassed that as far as the recording goes. But, you know, you can't know until you know. Yeah, it looks like this is probably going to be a hunting stand. So let's do that. I'm almost pi Yeah, it's got to be a hunting stand. There's no way this big open area and it's not a hunting stand. Matter of fact, you can probably see. Yeah. All right. So I'll run up this way. Hopefully that's going to turn out to be an outpost. And then we'll make our way up to the... Uh... Just looking around for ducks. Where? Did they already fly away? Oh, wait. No. Oh, okay. It's a female, though. It would have been a three. We need a four to get. Uh... So it doesn't seem like these ducks, for whatever reason, they don't like to sit in the water. Which makes it very difficult to actually spot them because they don't sit in the water and make it easy for you to see, which, you know, I'm sure is realistic. It's just I'm just making a comment about how compared to some of the other waterfowl that we've been going after, it's much harder to find these because <clears throat> they don't tend to sit out on the water which is probably a smart way to go as far as being a duck, but it's kind of frustrating and annoying when, uh, on the hunting side of it. So anyways, uh, maybe I'll get lucky and happen across a duck, but like I said, I'm not overly concerned about grabbing the birds in any of these maps, simply because Reventuli Coast is pretty much, the li when I look at the list of that, it's got almost every bird in it, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not overly concerned about it. So we'll run over here, grab this outpost, which is what it hopefully is, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, as expected, this is going to turn out to be an outpost. We'll get that unlocked, and then, uh, well, I guess we'll come over here then. Unlock this. This is all flat area, so we'll run over here, grab this lookout point, and then see what else is available after all of that. I think I am going to stop real quick and restock on my ammo. Not because I'm worried about running out, but I just, since we're here, I like to keep all of my ammo stocked up around the 50 round range. Just because that's a personal preference thing for me. So we'll take a second. We'll pop through our ammo list here. 22, I haven't really shot any of that yet. The 243, I shot a few rounds. Let's go ahead and just pop that over 50. Check our seven millimeter. Yeah, we'll pop that over 52. It's not like we're hurting for cash at this point. We'll definitely pop that over 50. And then uh, off we go to the next item. Well, I'm not particularly interested in a red deer, but if he's just going to stand there like that, I might as well. I didn't mean to shoot him in the head. I got a little over-anxious. What's this guy over here? Dude. Two twenty-eight. I mean, he's just a gold. Is he going down fast? Mm, not fast enough that I feel like that's going to be a really good uh, 
a really good kill, but all right, nice little silver. We got him lung, liver, stomach, intestines, and then in the jaw. Fortunately, that didn't hit him in a place that would have affected his sore, but he was only a silver anyway. Let me uh, grab this need zone here. <clears throat> we'll figure out what this guy was. Another silver. Got him straight up in the lung. I don't know. I keep I keep doing that. I'm going for heart shots, and I keep aiming too high because I'm afraid of aiming too low. Uh, let me unlock whatever this is here, and then we'll go find that red deer that we shot. Turned out to be a hunting stand. So this one is over here somewhere. And I will run and find him and bring you guys back when I do. Because I imagine he was pr um, okay. I mean, if you guys are just going to stand there and make it easy for me. <laughs> I'm not going to complain when they get stuck like that. That's easy money. <clears throat> so, they stuck because they were, they couldn't go any further into the water or what was the deal with that? All right, whatever. Uh, like I said, I'm going to run and try to track down this buck. I'm sure he ran quite a little ways, and I don't know how long it's going to take me to find him. So I'll be back in a second. All right, I think this is our guy. Almost certainly going to turn out to be a gold. We will go ahead and tax... Go ahead and tax him. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You behind the tree? Mythical thirty-eight. I mean, he can't be he can't be a diamond, but he'll be something. Uh, oh, he was a gold, but I somehow didn't get him in the. Hmm, that's okay. At least he wasn't a diamond. I don't have to worry too much about that. Pretty sure that this puma over here is going to be a gold, however. So let's go check that one out and see how we did. And then we still need to go over and get. <laughs> we're we're continually being drawn away from our goals here. Uh, we got to go get that lookout point and see what's uh, see what's up over there. But you know, you see a mythical puma, you got to shoot it. It's not really an option. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Nice big one. Yep, nice gold. It was a point away from uh, it was a point away from diamond, but the estimate wasn't up in the diamond range anyway, so I'm not super disappointed because I wasn't expecting it to be one anyways. But we will definitely go ahead and tax this guy because of how big he is, and move along. So, I'll be back when we're at the lookout point. All right, here we are at the lookout point. Grab this little need zone right here. Got a mule deer warning call. Nice big open area. Well, sort of a big open area. Not exactly a big open area. Just on the off chance that I see this mule deer before it runs off. I don't see anything, though. Likely already gone. We will walk up the lookout point. I'm just I see this need zone right here, and I'm not sure what our next path is going to be. So I want to make sure I grab it while I'm looking at it. It's probably the mule deer that we just heard. Yep, just the one guy. So let's get up the tower, unlock this, and see what this area is going to look like. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, he was right there on the other side of the hill. Oh well. Up we go. Maybe we'll actually be able to see something from up here and take a shot at it. That would be nice. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. I really don't like that they made it so that you have to walk all the way around the building when you do this. That's kind of a stupid thing to do. <coughs> if you're an aspiring game developer, try to find ways to not waste your player's time. They hate it when you do that. All right. So, oh, there's another outpost over here. Okay, well, um, so I guess what we'll do then, since I don't want to have to come all the way back over here, we probably, we'll probably come over here and then grab all three of these. Then we'll fast travel back and end the episode on that mission. So let me get back down here and I will see you guys in 700 meters. All right, looks like we have a cool point of interest over here on this one. And it's a flag point of interest. Have they all been flags? I don't think I've seen a, a regular informational point of interest on this map. I think they've all been flags like this, which is kind of weird, but whatever. 
see what they have to say. While many species in Patagonia are invaders who were introduced in the last century, the trees and shrubs of the North, North of, I don't even know how you say that, commonly called southern beaches are Patagonia natives, and by natives I mean we have fossils indicating they've been here since the Cretaceous period. These evergreens can be found all across the reserve. Their nuts are edible when properly cooked. Very cool. I did shoot a female uh, deer over in that direction, and she happened to run across my path again. So I think she came down, yeah, she came down right over here. Nothing special or anything like that, just a female deer I was shooting along the way. And the only reason I'm bringing it up is just it was weird that she kind of just ran back in front of my path. She, she was going off in a completely other direction, and some, for whatever reason, she curved back around and ran right in front of me. Pretty sure that this right here is going to be a... Uh, hunting stand and then we'll go unlock the outpost over there then we'll fast travel back and finish off that mission or at least advance the, the story mission for this yep so i'll see you guys at the outpost over here and then we can fast travel back uh, oh wait okay maybe we'll have a chance for our collared peccary finally we need a basically need a hundred a night we need a 98 and some change so i just need one of these to be at a hundred and of course none of them are Fortunately, none of them are. So we'll take a couple of the bigger ones since they're here. Let's see, I want this one and this one, right? Might as well. All right, well, unfortunately, I was, I was really hoping that one of them would be a gold, but we just haven't had much luck with golds in, this, in uh, some of these things. At least we got a fair bit of money out of that. All right. <clears throat> oh, there's another one there. 69. I mean, we're going in that direction anyway, so I'll definitely, I'll definitely track them down. But as we saw, none of them. Uh, the minimum score for a gold for collared peccary is 98.5, and the highest one we saw was a 97. So I'm not going to bother you guys with uh, harvesting these. I'll see you over at the outpost when we're done. All right, here we are at the outpost. 119 for the black buck. That could be a gold. Let's uh, let's get a little closer. Uh much as I'd like to try to go after some of those guys, I'd much rather get this black buck here. Black buck minimum is 106. 102. This guy should be. I don't want to ruin it though. I want to make sure I'm right within the right within the zeroing range so I can just put it right on his chest and just be done with it. I'll try to be very careful because I've had a bunch of shots at black buck over the over the, since we've been on this map and it just a lot of times it just hasn't worked out for me. All right, yeah, let me get I want to get uh, like one, 140 to 170-ish. That should be perfect. I gotta wait for the zero. The, 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 I gotta wait for the spotting thing to go away so I can get a, re, a re, redo on the estimate there. There we go. All right. So now I should be very careful. I want to put it right in the back of his leg there. Okay. Should be good, right? Yeah. There he goes. All right. So we'll go ahead unlock this. And then uh, go harvest him, and hopefully that's going to turn out to be our gold black buck, which will be very nice. Because we haven't really come across a lot of gold rated ones, like not even ones that have the estimate to be gold. And then I think after this, we'll fast travel to this outpost here and use the ATV to just unlock these really quick. I don't want to get too I don't want to get get too uh, crazy about missing things along the way. We don't want to have to go backtracking too much. So I think that's what we'll do for that. Let's run across the field here. We'll see how we did on this black buck. I'm really hoping he's gonna turn out to be a gold so that we can mark that off the list as well. Um, I have been noticing that certain species are just not coming up gold very much and that kind of sucks because it means we're not gonna have several examples of them in the lodge once we do that. I know I haven't gone back to the lodge in a while. I'm kind of in a place now where um, I kind of want to just gather all my trophies, and then once we're done at the end, we can uh, go back and put everything in the lodge before we move on to the next one. And I may change my mind, especially if you guys are like, hey, go to the lodge, man. You know, uh, 
viewer participation is definitely encouraged, but uh, at this moment, I'm not overly concerned about heading to the lodge every time we find, yes, okay, we're definitely gonna tax this guy so we don't lose him. So now we definitely have our gold black buck at a 113, all right, okay, where do I find that? That's gonna be under antelope, I think. Yep, antelope black buck uh, under 113.58. So that takes care of that. All we have left now is the collared peccary and, you know, the cinnamon teal if we can get it. I'm not really that concerned about grabbing that. So I'm going to fast travel and uh, well, I'm just going to pull out the ATV to go grab those two things because we still need to fast travel back to the main lodge to uh, finish up the mission, the main, the story mission here. So I'll be back once we're at, back at the actual lodge and doing that. All right, this looks like it's going to be an informational point of interest. So let's grab this one and then we'll go back down the road and grab the other one. So the brilliant red flowers of the Emboth Embothrium are often called the Chilean firebrush by English speakers. As a girl, I like to spot hummingbirds pollinating them. They are vivacious, passionate flowers, just like the people of Patagonia. So we went up. Oh, if I can stop this from doing that. I hate that the space bar is how you get into it. Um, I don't want to go too far up that way. Because uh, I think we're going to come up here and go that way, maybe. I'm going to do I'm going to do my original plan, and I'm going to go back down the road. Oh wait, how do? Where was the road? <laughs> where was the road? I lost the road. Where'd it go? No, no, no. Okay, seriously, where's the road? <laughs> Okay, it's so hard to see. Uh, we're going to go back down to this one here. And then uh, fast travel back to the other one. Worst comes to work. Because we still need to ex to entirely explore that area anyway. And, you know, that is what it is. So I'll be back in a second. All right, this is another point of interest over here. Let's see what it is. Uh, okay, you guys can read this one on your own. We're too far into the episode for me to read all of this. Feel free to pause and read all of that, and then you guys can uh, check that out. Let's go ahead and fast travel back to the story, uh, the, the, main, the main lodge or whatever, so that we can advance the story, and then we'll be ready to end the episode. You can install that cabling by the solar panels. My nephew says it should be a simple plug-in. Uh, okay, so we got to run up here. Okay. Let's hope this works. Ave Maria, it works. Parque Fernando can finally open to the public. Okay. Well, let's uh make sure that she's done talking. <laughs> you never know. Okay. My beloved Fernando is smiling down on us. You know, he and I planned to open this place all the way back in 1983. But then he died, and one thing after another got in the way of opening. I had a family to pull together, businesses to run. Everybody doubted me, doubted I could manage it all without Fernando. Every time I spent money to improve the park, his boludos brothers laughed and called me Doña Quixote. Too bad none of them live to see this day. If I am Quixote, you are my panza. And by opening this park, we have fought a giant and won. Okay. But this is only the start of our adventures together, Che. For one thing, we need to put finishing touches on this lodge. I am the patroness for a local artisan. Goes by Mad Mad. He's not your ordinary taxidermist. More of a miracle worker with flesh and bones. can turn most any deer hide into the softest rock imaginable. Exactly what we need for our lodge. Harvest a mule deer or a red deer, and I'll have Mad Mad make a world-class rock. World-class. All right, well, 
Hopefully you guys had fun. Be sure to click that like button if you did so the YouTube algorithm knows and sends the video out to as many people as possible. We want to get uh, as many along for these hunts as we can because it's more fun when everybody participates. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button. Check out the perks that are available uh, depending on which tier you choose and decide if any of those are right for you. Your support is greatly appreciated and definitely helps out with helping me become a professional YouTuber. Again, Thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys enjoyed the hunt, and I'll see you for the next one.